You've probably Googled something, clicked on Wikipedia, and then wondered, can I actually trust this? Is this biased? Is this even up to date? Well, I spent weeks researching Elon Musk's latest AI project, and here's the thing that surprised me. He's not just creating another chatbot. He's building something that could completely change how we access information online. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts. Click the newsletter link in the description for weekly analysis, delivered straight to your inbox. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly what Grokopedia is, how it actually works behind the scenes, and why Musk believes this could be the biggest improvement over Wikipedia we've ever seen. By the end, you'll understand whether this is just another tech announcement or if we're actually witnessing the beginning of a new era for online knowledge. And trust me, once you see how the AI verification process works, you'll never look at encyclopedia entries the same way again. Let's start with what makes Grokopedia different from anything else out there. The Wikipedia problem we all know exists. Here's something we don't talk about enough. We've all been told not to cite Wikipedia in academic papers, right? But why? It's because deep down, we know there's a trust issue. Articles can be edited by anyone. Information can be outdated. And sometimes there's a question of bias lurking in the background. Now, I'm not saying Wikipedia is bad. In fact, it's been an incredible resource for decades. But Elon Musk looked at this and asked a fundamental question. What if we could build something better? That's exactly where Grokopedia comes in. In October 2025, Musk announced that his AI startup XAI is building an ambitious new encyclopedia driven by its Grok chatbot technology. And here's where it gets interesting. He's calling it a massive improvement over Wikipedia, and he's describing it as part of XAI's quest to understand the universe. Bold claim, right? But before you dismiss it, let me show you what makes this different. Musk envisions Grokopedia as a truth-driven alternative to Wikipedia, specifically designed to counter what he calls falsehoods and half-truths that spread online. This isn't just another encyclopedia with a new coat of paint. It's an open source, AI-powered knowledge repository where users can view, verify, and even improve articles using XAI's advanced models. Think of it as Wikipedia, but with an AI fact checker built directly into every single article. How Grokopedia actually works. Now this is where things get really interesting. Grokopedia leverages Musk's Grok AI chatbot to process and curate information in real time. But here's the key difference from what you might expect. Grok doesn't just generate content out of thin air. Instead, it scans existing sources. Wikipedia entries, PDFs, news articles, research papers. And it actively looks for inaccuracies or bias in those sources. So imagine you're reading an article about climate change or a controversial political event. Instead of just accepting what's written, Grok analyzes the claims cross-references multiple sources, and then rewrites or supplements the entry to give you fuller context. Musk emphasizes that Grokopedia will be built solely for truth, free from hidden agendas or political slant. In practice, this means every article can be checked and improved by AI. Let me break down what we know about Grokopedia's core features, because this is where the platform really differentiates itself from everything else. First, there's AI-verified content. Grok's model analyzes claims in real time and corrects false or incomplete information. The goal here is verified truth in every entry. Not just someone's opinion, not just what sounds good, but information that's been cross-checked and validated by an AI that's specifically designed to spot inconsistencies and errors. Second, we have what Musk calls bias-free design. By relying on first principles reasoning, which is basically breaking down complex problems into their fundamental truths, Grokopedia aims to minimize ideological bias. And look, Musk has been very vocal about his criticism of Wikipedia for what he sees as political slants. Whether you agree with him or not, Grokopedia is explicitly being built to be neutral. It's designed for truth, not persuasion. Third, and this is huge, Grokopedia is intended to be the world's largest and most accurate knowledge source not just for humans, 
but also for AI. It will be free to access and completely open source, which means developers and the public can harness its data for any purpose. There are no paywalls, no subscription tiers, no limits on use. And here's the fourth feature that really caught my attention, human AI collaboration. Users will be able to view content, spot errors, and improve articles with Grok's AI assisting them. So researchers, educators, and just regular enthusiasts can correct mistakes or add context to make information more reliable. It's like having a super intelligent research assistant working alongside you. But wait until you see this next part. The promise here isn't just that Grokopedia serves readers. It's designed to become a resource for other AI systems that need high quality training data. By collating and vetting knowledge at this scale, it could help both people and machines get more accurate answers. This is where the vision starts to expand beyond just an encyclopedia. Why this matters more than you think. So you might be wondering, okay, this sounds interesting, but what does this actually mean for me? Let me walk you through the real-world applications that could impact how you work, learn, and access information every single day. First, and most obviously, Grokopedia could become the most reliable reference for everyone. Students writing papers, professionals researching their industry, or just curious people wanting to learn something new could finally have a source that's aiming to be more accurate than Wikipedia. We're talking about verified facts and context in every article. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Because Grokopedia is being built as an open source knowledge repository, its content can be used to train or improve other AI models. Think about that for a second. If AI developers can leverage this vetted information, they can build smarter assistants, better search engines, more accurate tools across the board. This could have a ripple effect throughout the entire AI industry. Third, and this is critical in today's information environment, Grokopedia could actually counter misinformation in real time. With Grok's analysis capability, the platform could quickly flag and correct trending falsehoods or rumors. This dynamic updating might help keep public knowledge current in a way that traditional encyclopedias simply can't match. When a new study comes out, or when breaking news happens, Grokopedia could update within hours or even minutes. There's also the diversity of thought angle. Since it's open and AI-driven, Grokopedia might incorporate a wider range of sources, not just mainstream ones. This addresses Musk's concern about hidden agendas in current encyclopedias. The AI can pull from academic journals, independent research, international sources, giving you a more complete picture rather than a single viewpoint. And finally, as an educational tool, teachers and learners could use Grokopedia's articles and the AI behind them to explore topics deeply. The platform's first principles reasoning approach might help break down complex ideas in ways that are actually understandable. Think about trying to learn quantum physics or understanding economic policy. Having an AI that can explain these concepts from the ground up could be transformative for education. In short, Grokopedia aims to be a universal knowledge engine. It's not just a static encyclopedia that you read and close. It's a living, AI-assisted library that evolves and improves constantly. As one press analysis pointed out, if successful, Grokopedia could mark the beginning of a new chapter in how information is created, verified, and shared online. The Technology Behind the Vision now let me give you some context on where this all comes from, because Grokopedia doesn't exist in a vacuum. It builds directly on Musk's recent work in AI. Back in 2023, Musk launched Grok, which is a large language model chatbot created by his company XAI. And here's a fun fact. Grok was originally envisioned as something called Truth GPT. The idea was to create a maximum truth-seeking AI to explore the universe. He later renamed it Grok, after a term from a Robert Heinlein science fiction novel that means deep, intuitive understanding. Since that initial launch, Grok has been rapidly iterated. It debuted in November 2023 and was made open source by March 2024. Then, XAI released successive versions, Grok 1.5, Grok 2, Grok 3, 
each one with enhanced reasoning capabilities, vision, and even image generation. For example, Grok 3, which came out in February 2025, was trained with around 200,000 GPUs. And get this. It reportedly outperformed GPT-4 on certain math and science benchmarks. That's not just incremental improvement. That's a significant leap forward. These advances set the stage for what Grokopedia is trying to accomplish. Musk has hinted that Grok's technology will be at the core of Grokopedia, using its AI to analyze and rewrite content. In fact, the entire idea was sparked during a podcast discussion about Grok's ability to check facts from PDFs and Wikipedia pages. Someone essentially said, if Grok can do this for individual queries, why not build an entire knowledge platform powered by it? And that's exactly what Musk decided to do. Grokopedia is conceived as a natural extension of Grok's capabilities. Rather than having the AI answer questions one at a time, why not create a comprehensive knowledge base that's constantly being verified and updated? This is the kind of ambitious thinking that characterizes Musk's approach to problems. Why we should pay attention to Musk's track record. Now I know what some of you might be thinking. Elon Musk makes a lot of announcements. He sets aggressive timelines. Can he actually pull this off? Well, let's look at the track record because I think this context is really important for understanding whether Grokopedia is likely to succeed. Elon Musk's history shows a pattern of setting audacious goals and then achieving them, often faster or better than experts expected. He co-founded Tesla to accelerate the adoption of electric vehicles. And under his leadership, Tesla became the world's leading EV maker, capturing around 20% of global battery electric car sales in 2023. Remember, when Tesla started, Critics said electric cars would never be mainstream. They said the technology wasn't there, the infrastructure wasn't there, consumers wouldn't want them. And yet Tesla's early models, the 2008 Roadster, the Model S, the Model X, and later the high-performance Plaid variants, pushed EV technology far beyond what those critics thought possible. But let's talk about SpaceX, because this is where Musk really proved people wrong. He founded SpaceX in 2002 with the goal of making space travel routine. Many thought a private company could never compete with government space agencies. The conventional wisdom was that space was too hard, too expensive, too risky for anything other than NASA or other government programs. Yet by 2008, SpaceX's Falcon 1 became the first privately developed liquid fuel rocket to reach orbit. And that success only happened after three initial failures that nearly bankrupted Musk. But that fourth launch worked, and it kept SpaceX alive. It paved the way for what came next. Reusable rockets and human spaceflight. By 2016, SpaceX was landing Falcon 9 boosters on drone ships and reusing them to cut launch costs by around 30%. They flew the first reused Falcon 9 in 2017. This was a feat many said was impossible just years earlier. Then in 2020, SpaceX's Crew Dragon took NASA astronauts to the International Space Station. This was the first time a private company sent humans to orbit. It was also the first U.S. crewed launch from American soil since 1981. Let that sink in for a moment. Musk didn't just compete with NASA. He restored American capability that had been lost for nearly 40 years. There's a pattern here. Musk sets timelines that seem unrealistic. Critics say it can't be done, and then he and his teams work relentlessly until it happens. PayPal revolutionized online payments. Tesla revolutionized electric transport. SpaceX broke world records in space travel. And now he's applying that same drive to AI. Musk's pattern of innovation suggests that Grokopedia, while bold, is actually in line with his playbook. He has a history of turning science fiction-sounding ideas into reality, ahead of conventional schedules. Investors and fans note that Musk revolutionized electric transport, broke records in space, and now he's targeting artificial intelligence with the same intensity. In this context, Grokopedia is his latest frontier. Is it ambitious? Absolutely. Is it unlikely based on his track record? Not really. 
What's coming next? So where does this leave us? Grokopedia is currently in early beta. Version 0.1 is set to launch in just two weeks from when Musk made the announcement. Details remain sparse, and we don't know exactly what the user interface will look like or how seamless the experience will be. But what we do know is that Musk has said XAI aims to open source its tools, which means community involvement will likely grow over time. Beyond Grokopedia itself, Musk has hinted that XAI is expanding into new areas. He mentioned an AI-driven game studio at one point. The core mission, building AI that advances human understanding, is crystal clear. And Grokopedia stands as what Musk calls a necessary step toward understanding the universe. Now, whether Grokopedia will actually dethrone Wikipedia or simply push online knowledge to new heights remains to be seen. But given Musk's track record and the team of researchers behind Grok, this is definitely a project worth watching closely. It could fundamentally change how we access and verify information in the AI era. Think about it this way. If Grokopedia works even half as well as promised, we could be looking at a future where misinformation is caught before it spreads, where students have access to verified knowledge for every assignment, where AI systems are trained on accurate data rather than internet noise. That's not just an improvement over Wikipedia. That's a shift in how knowledge itself works online. So that's the story of Grokopedia. From Musk's announcement to the technology that powers it, from his track record of delivering on seemingly impossible promises to what this could mean for how we learn and access information. If you found this breakdown helpful, let me know in the comments what you think about Grokopedia. Are you excited to try it? Skeptical? Somewhere in between? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you want to stay updated on AI developments like this, make sure you're subscribed because there's a lot happening in this space right now, and I'll be covering all the major releases and breakthroughs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.